News 18, weather from where you live. We well, find a move tomorrow morning to midday, but afternoon, evening, we're going to watch this little cluster of storms form up uh, near Rockford, Chicago, and dive southeastward along a warm front. That could bring some severe weather risk. And then a couple showers early Friday morning. So it's a yellow there. Then you're fine to mow for most of the area on Friday. And I've got a yellow here because there will still be a couple storms in the north on Friday near that front. Tonight, low to mid 50s for lows, including a 55 at Cutland, 52 Lafayette down to Frankfurt and Clarks Hill. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, but some storms during afternoon and evening with a high of 80 degrees with winds out of the southwest and any patchy fog in the morning will burn off pretty rapidly. Notice the 84 Covington, but the mid 70s Rochester. So a little bit of a front in the area and that will serve as a road for that little cluster of storms to ride upon. And the highest risk for severe weather is Rensselaer to Monticello, uh, northeast to Delphi through Logansport, Kokomo, Peru, Rochester, and Winnemac. It's more isolated as you go southwestward. And this risk carries us into Thursday night as well with equal potential for wind, hail, brief tornado. Now on Friday, I get an early shower, then it's partly cloudy. A couple storms still lingering in the north though in the afternoon with a high of 84, but temperatures will vary with the front up here and a lake breeze front only 69 Rensselaer, but we're talking mid 80s from Lafayette and Southward, and there's that isolated severe weather risk. Marginal risk on Friday in our north for a couple isolated severe storms. The humidity going up though, ahead of that cluster of storms tomorrow. Dew points on the rise. We are in the mid and upper 60s by later on in the day. We're pushing right around 70 degrees on Friday. When you got temperatures for at least part of the area in the 80s, it's going to feel pretty muggy and pretty muggy on Saturday with dew points in the mid to upper 60s as well. Here's precision cast. There's some of that fog being depicted here on our 18 precision cast to early tomorrow morning, then partly cloudy. Then we watch these storms come out of our northwest and dive southeastward, especially right here in this zone. Here we are five, six o'clock tomorrow evening. It's in Howard County at that point and pulls away. And then tomorrow night, we may see another little cluster of storms come through right through the heart of the viewing area, lasting to very early on Friday morning. And then just a couple storms in the north Friday late afternoon and into the evening hours. And then it dries out because the front will go way back north. So we are bathed in dry, windy, warm, muggy weather on Saturday and through a good chunk of Sunday before this squall line of storms races eastward. It could bring severe weather risk on Sunday. Dry Monday, dry part of Tuesday, then later Tuesday, more severe weather risk as this kind of blows on through. And we may see another around Thursday. And then you know, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday look dry with 80s at this point. That's the good news. So for tomorrow, PM uh, storms possible. Friday, shower in the morning, couple storms in the north. Later on in the day, 87 and dry on Saturday and very warm. 83, still warm and humid on Sunday. 80 on Monday, 83 Tuesday with some storms and severe weather risk and then a high of 77 Wednesday. We could be back into the 80s Thursday, Friday, Saturday and even into next Sunday, Jordan. It's not Indiana without at least some rain. That's right. The bad times, man. Yeah. Thank you, Chad. Yep.